Oh, the power and the conviction of the Holy Spirit. Good morning, my precious brothers and sisters. It's the first day of July, 2015. I gather around and pull up a chair this morning. Very important video. I was going to take today off and just take a little break. But once again, I have been just uh, overwhelmed and moved by the Holy Spirit to deliver a message in this video today. And we're going to do that in a moment. We're going to go to announcements, so uh, don't go anywhere. I'm going to talk to you about the Star of Bethlehem and a few other things as well. Let's go to ministry announcements. But first, I'm going to have what's left. I'm down to the bottom of my cup of uh, coffee. Let me know what you're going to share with PD. Let's do that now. Oh, oh I need one more cup. Before I head out the door today, let's go to announcements, ministry announcements. Uh, there is nothing to report uh, as far as our homeless uh, inner city outreach ministry. There have been no offerings that have come in uh, of support for our ministry. If you feel led to give and to help God's ministry to the poor, to the downtrodden, to the homeless, and to the lost of the world, I'll put the link to where you can give below, but you need to be just overpowered. You need to be overwhelmed by the Holy Spirit to give. Don't just give to a ministry to give. You need to know what the Holy Spirit is moving you to give to any ministry. Join us tonight, 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, for a very special tiny chat uh, we have to go over a few things tonight and a few corrections. We're in the end days and the scripture has just been so distorted and twisted. And uh, uh, we're going to be very important in the book of Matthew, uh, Matthew chapter 7. We're going to go over quite a few things tonight uh, of what Yeshua spoke, what Jesus spoke in Matthew 7 and elsewhere in the scripture. When all all of them had stones and they were going to stone the woman to death jesus said uh, those of you that are without sin cast the first stone and they threw the stones down we're going to cover that we're going to cover judge not oh what so many christians today love to talk about judge not least ye be judged remove that beam or that log from your own eye before you try to remove the speck from your brother's eye what, what, what was yeshua really saying there we are going to cover that tonight and a whole lot more. 7 o'clock p.m. I'll do another video later in the day uh, to remind everyone and I'll put the link below. TinyChat.com forward slash Pastor Dave. Um, lift our ministry up in prayer. I really uh, don't want to talk about uh, something that happened yesterday. The city of Flint, like the city of Detroit, can be a very, very dangerous place. But Father God sends his angels to guide us and protect us when we are out with our ministries. But it was a very, very um, close call in the city of Flint yesterday. So think about Pastor Dave and, and um, we have to go to where sin is. We, that means we have to go into the battle zone. And sometimes it can be uh, a dangerous, dangerous place. Keep Pastor Dave lifted up in prayers. I will be heading out in just a little while. I want to talk about the Star of Bethlehem, the beautiful Star of Bethlehem. And I was, I got out there last night and uh, I filmed uh, just a short segment of it. And uh, a lot of people so far have viewed it on YouTube. But I want to touch on a few things. Um, we're living in the end days, and I like to follow Scripture and the Living Word and many today satan has control today he has power uh spiritual uh, wickedness in high places and that we can't see and today many will look at what is evil and call evil good and good evil and um there are many out there that will when you when you bring light to the darkness and they will defend the darkness and it's the love gospel and it's it's all about love and 
uh, Jesus was love and love thy brother and and this love everything is love and uh, uh, they they don't like to have the darkness exposed and they will defend those but have fallen rather than go to them and pray they will defend them that have fallen and a lot of times they at one point the devil had got a hold of them and ripped them from glory and they have fallen to fornication or to adultery and God had brought has brought them back we often give a testimony of a healing like with my son an amazing healing testimony but what about a testimony that here we are born again and Satan got a hold of us and pulled us down into sin into the depths of sin but we were overcomers we found the error of our way do we give that testimony or do we keep that hidden in a closet a secret and just come on YouTube and God is love Jesus is love love everybody love 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 rather than give a, a powerful testimony of how we fell from grace and how if you fall if you if you are backslidden you can come back Jesus will pick you up and bring you back or we just hide that a lot of people today are just um, covering up sin it's like um, they put a fig leaf on and cover their sin and say everything is good everything is fine everything is well and they're teaching on YouTube I seen a video yesterday talking about the star of Bethlehem where rather than this being a time for the church to just get excited and to cheer to take another look at it and to call it evil and to refer to scripture from uh, Luke chapter 10 uh, and I believe it's verse 18 but where well, we all have have heard of this where Jesus spoke but I let me let me go to the scripture let me just read it correctly uh, Luke chapter 10 verse 18 and he said unto them I beheld Satan as lightning falling from heaven and we know that uh, uh, it, it's all over YouTube and I beheld Satan as Barack Obama and they were using this in showing the constellation and the star of Bethlehem and let me say this we are not there yet we are not at that point yet the first seal hasn't even been opened and to look at the star that beautiful star last night that, that is just like it was 2,000 years ago and then to try to somehow relate it to something evil and Satan um, I saw uh, Satan getting ready to fall we're not there yet so I wanted to touch on that quickly and in, in closing um, I want to touch on something regarding our Bible study on Mondays Monday evening someone I, I blocked them from the channel someone was uh, saying don't watch his uh, Bible study on the book of Revelation he did one a while back and he was talking on the book of Revelation and he was saying that um, these creatures coming out of abyss that with the face of a man and tails like a stinger that they were actually locusts correction and this is for my precious precious uh, sister Samantha uh, and in honor and memory of her her precious father uh, William Davis first of all I've never done a teaching on the book of Revelation at Tiny Chat we had a uh, precious brother Doug a Bible scholar and theologian but did and uh, I can't recall wherever I made mention to of these being locusts what brother Doug had mentioned and I believe I had as well but I'm not we're gonna go over this in a moment is that many scholars today and theologians there's a few out there but we'll look at this scripture in uh, Revelation 9 as being maybe a modern uh, helicopters instead of locusts that they are like military helicopters and I agree with brother Doug that that is not the case that is incorrect 
But let's go to Revelation 9, and, and now I will give a teaching on this real quick if I can. It's because I, I feel led to correct this. And the YouTuber was false prophet hunter, and he was very mean and sarcastic. And, uh, you know, I'm just not going to tolerate that on my channel. Revelation 9. And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven onto the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. I saw a star fall from heaven onto the earth. From the heavens, we know stars are always referenced as angels. But he didn't have the, the key to the bottomless pit. It was given unto him. And we're going to find out uh, who this angelic being is, the star that fell and was given uh, the key of the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit. And there arose a smoke out of the pit as the smoke of a great furnace. And the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. Now listen to me, amen. These are not my words. This is Revelation 9. And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth. It doesn't say there came out of the smoke beings as of locusts. It says plainly and clearly that these were locusts that came upon the earth. And unto them was given power as the scorpions of the earth have power. And it was commanded them, it's not helicopters, these are locusts that came out of the abyss, the bottomless pit. And they were given power as scorpions, I didn't mean they are scorpions, as the scorpions of the earth have power. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented five months, and their torment was as the torment of a scorpion when he striketh a man. Now listen to me, amen. And in these days shall men seek death, and shall not find it, and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. And the shapes of the locust, these are locusts. So even though I didn't teach this, as I was uh, accused of, I'm teaching it now, these are locusts. And in the days, men shall seek death and shall not find it and shall desire to die and death shall flee from them. These aren't, aren't a look, John didn't see, Jesus didn't give John a look into the future and they, he thought they were locusts with these uh, wings, but they were actually what, what we know today in modern technology, helicopters, no. No, I don't believe that. These were locusts. And the shapes of the what? The shapes of the locust were like unto horses prepared unto battle, and on their heads were as it were crowns like gold, and their faces were as the faces of men, and they had hair as the hair of women. So they did have the face of a, a human face with a crown and hair like women, and their teeth were as the teeth of lions, and they had breastplates, as it were, breastplates of iron and the sound of their wings. They have wings. Where are, have the fallen angels been cast down to and chained for a time? The bottomless pit, the abyss. And they, their wings was as the sound of chariots of many horses running to battle. And they had tails like unto scorpions, and there were stingers in their tails and their power was to hurt men for five months and they had a king over them a king over them eh which is the angel of the bottom who's the angel of the bottomless pit whose name in the hebrew tongue is abaddon but in the greek tongue hath his name apollyon and uh, i just wanted to clarify that and set the record straight on that please don't think of the Beautiful star of Bethlehem. Please don't try to look at that as Satan falling, as uh, as Barack Obama falling. We're not there yet. We're we're not there yet. We are close to the imminent rapture of the church. There's so many people are teaching on YouTube that are holding and hiding sin, forgiving, and just wanting to love on everyone and put on a fig leaf and. Uh, think all is well and all is good 
and it's like we just want to go and uh, protect those that have fallen rather than to to purge the church of evil and to go with them and love and correct them but we condone the sin again in uh, first Corinthians chapter 5 not my words the living word says God is to judge those outside the church we are to judge those within the church and purge the church of evil join us tonight again at 7 o'clock p.m. we are gonna discuss about judging what did Jesus really say and what did he really mean if you're led to give to our ministry to the homeless the link will be below God bless